Productions. Welcome back to another pristine production here, and uh, want to shout out to all the fans here. Remember, uh, you can get my uh, mixing course powered by Cor uh, Course Craft. Uh, mixing a three-part series, Afrobeat and Charlie in the Box. You learn all the secrets of the pros here. And uh, today we're going to be talking about scoring uh, for the big uh, screen, scoring for animation here. So I'm going to play uh, this uh, footage here that you're seeing here. Shout out to the Cube Tube. And this is my original score, guys. Shout out to the Cube Two people uh, for uh, sub uh, submitting this trailer for me to take uh, take part. Want to shout out to the team on, on uh, Cube Tube. Um, this is my submission for the scoring competition here, and uh, we're gonna jump uh, right into it. So, a uh, shout out to to the team that animated uh, this uh, part here, and that's um, playing right out of uh, Studio One Four. Uh, so, uh, let's get right into it. Now, the title is called uh, Caminades. It's it's Kami Caminades Caminades. I believe. Forgive me if um, if I'm not doing. Coming, coming at us, coming at us. So, um, this is the trailer here. Uh, now, the great thing about Studio One, obviously, you can import the video, and uh, um, th this is how I created uh, the the motion picture uh, score for this uh, part here. So, uh, there are parts where um, I change the scene here. I change the um, meaning the scene of the music, not not the film. I change the parts to complement what's happening in the film here. So when you see the, the, the coming out as a title comes up, you hear that guitar coming in. And then you have the uh, little deer there uh, walking around there, uh, trying to get a little berry fruit. Coming with some nice lush strings here. And, uh, and then it changes to the dramatic part where um, the little penguin gets in trouble. There's a train coming and the tension is about to be uh, rising up here. So um, let, me, let, let me get to the score part. So I'm going to... I'm going to leave this part... I, I'm going to leave the screen up. I'm, I'm going to shrink it a little bit here so it doesn't distract you. So I'm sorry. So first of all, what I went ahead and did, I listened to the animation here. Uh, I listened to the uh, trailer. And here we have the out of here with uh, no music any at all. So as I as I went th uh, through the trailer here, I checked out the scene, uh, what's happening with this little deer here. He's coming here, trying to get a little berry fruit. Here comes a little uh, penguin here. And... Uh, uh, you want to uh, think about the kind of music you want to you want to share with this vibe here, uh, to capture this emotion here. So uh, ev everything is all nice and dandy, and uh, we have the, uh, the strings playing. And uh, and then I look and and see here. I checked out mm. because you want to make sure you make uh, your composing uh, for a trailer. You want to make sure you're composing your music is connected with the trailer. Just don't put any and anything. If somebody tells you they need an epic score for their trailer you need to first see if that trailer is actually epic 
uh, not to knock anybody, but you want to make sure you feel out maybe a little part of uh, maybe what they're talking about epic is maybe something that, that is more a drama, you know. So I'm checking out the scenes here and I see there's a part here where uh, there's trouble coming here. There's a train coming and I know this is, this will not work with sweet music. Things are going to get a little bit of a tight spot here. Uh, this train is coming, uh, trying to land uh, a lawnmower, <laughs> try to land more that um, penguin down. So obviously I'm going to have to change up the tension here. So I marked that spot right there on my score here. The BPM is running at 120. And as we go on, uh, even comes to the part where uh, the, the little deer or little goat uh, realizes that um, this penguin is in trouble. So there's a part where I play just the sound effects just uh, when he's going to snatch the penguin uh, from danger here. So I'm going to play that part. Here's he coming here and uh, you hear the sound. Okay, let, let, okay, here it is. Let, let me play it back again. Here it is. Not sure if you heard that. I'm gonna increase the volume here. Just say exaggerated. Just a little, little bit of snatch, a little bit of snatch effect. <gasps> there it is. I'm, I'm gonna mute the audio here. I'm just gonna play the. Um, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. It just snatches up that little penguin there, save him from a lot of trouble, and. Um, the scene goes on to where they're 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 sitting here, stagnant here. Like, okay, I I, I guess we're fine, you know. And uh, so I have a little bit of slow music playing here. And then all of a sudden they they they, they fall through uh, this this cave in here. So. I, I, what I was playing here was the what you call the drop. So I was playing this part here. There's a string uh, so that the penguin can emerge there to say, okay, I'm fine, I'm okay, but it's payback time. And um, I have some uh, cinematic drums coming in here. Then I have the boom. Which goes well with the actual audio for when, for when um, the little the little deer uh, fell through the hole. So after that, we realize that a, a ten, uh, there's more tension that's picking up here. They're they're not out of the neck of the woods yet. Uh, they're in the, uh, they're in this um, little uh, coaster here, and the penguin's trying to get that little berry. So that is telling me now I, I got to tension up this thing. I got to heighten this thing here. I, I got to rise up this feeling here. So I went to some action string and, and, and changed up the drums here so we get this sound here along with the piano of course so now they're they're falling here and uh, as soon as they arrive at the track here then the adventure begins here so let, let's do that Almost like a wild, wild west thing going on here. Right now I have the audio from the film muted, so I'm just playing the score here. So you can feel that ride, or we're taking them for a ride. So that's that's where I come in with the with, with the string section here. So um <clears throat> so let me go over it real quick here. So here's the guitar. It's playing the guitar there. There's a the title. And here's a deer coming there for, you know, that little fruit there. And then I come in with the uh, second strings here. I'm going to play the second strings here. That's, that's creating like a fine and dandy day, you know. Come in with a little bit of flute. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and uh, unmute my effects here. So we don't have any uh, trouble. Now some composers do it like this. They pause the audio and they try to match the, the music first to heighten up the tension here. 
And then uh, right there, when this little deer is resting there, I come in with the uh, drums here. If I can zoom in here a little bit. I come in with the drums. And then there's a quick a transition here that I come in with the uh, the more heightened strings here. Here we go. And here comes the train. This is the train scene. And here's the rip. So that drum, that tuk 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 tuk, almost it really complemented the smoke effect that is coming from that shot and that scene there and there uh, uh we, we're having uh the that rising string and it's rising up just for that particular segment there then it fades off as you can see right here in studio one here i have i have a fade button so it fades off i can play that back And then they fall through, which I kind of, I kind of shut everything down, kind of pause everything, and then right about here, the drum's gonna kick in, and it's gonna be like, okay, we're not out of the neck of the woods. Here comes trouble. So it's very important, guys, that you connect your music with the scenes and tell the story with the with, with, with the music, with the scores, so whether it's sound effects for just certain parts or coming with a small little string melody part and just fade it. That's it. And then we move on. So here we're, we're, we're waiting um, for what's about to happen next here. And uh, here comes the drum here. It's going to pick up. If I can bring him back the audio here from the video here, you're going you're gonna to hear it together here. Here we go. And as soon as he hits, I made a decision as soon as... And check this out, it's pretty cool. In the video, the, the, the timer is synced as well on, on the timeline. Studio One is great. So as he hits the track here, I timed it. As I wanted the, the, the adventure segment to start as soon as both of them hit the track here. Here's the journey that's going to start with this roller coaster uh, running wild, uh, going through this cave here. <laughs> Right there, when 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 this little deer uh, takes a flight in the air, I, I roll that jump, do, 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 you know, like a takeoff there, like you know, we're we're still in the action business here, and uh, here he's flying through the air here. Then I speed, you know, I, I kind of speed up the strings, and then like bump, like okay, um, we obviously uh, we have landed here now. What's next? This is how you create and uh, complement tension uh, in these scenes, you know. So uh, to be a good professional uh, film score, you need to make sure you're paying keen attention to understand the shots, the wide shots, the angle, uh, the emotional vibe, uh, what is generating uh, from that trailer or that scene. So you want to make sure that translates to your score. So I come in, last of all, with a little bit of sad music here. Just fading, fading it in right there. Because obviously he's getting sad. And I hope Universal Pictures is watching this, man. I can be a great asset to you guys. Hit me up. So here's a little uh, penguin here uh, expressing his condolences. That, hey, we want to give you some of these berries here. And then we rise the strings to that triumphant ending here and that's where we come in with that end credit there so I wanted to leave that with you guys here that's how you score for animation the big screen uh, scoring for the big screen animation scoring animation for the big screen sorry yeah, so uh, hit me up, guys. I'm, I'm also going to do another one as well. Hit me up on my uh, website, uh, pristineproduction.webstars.com. I have a couple of scores as well. The Breach, we have uh, Death Water. 
and we're gonna be talking about that in a t tutorial as well how you produce for a th thriller uh, films here uh, you can buy my sample pack you, you can have your scores uh, mixed by me mixed and mastered and uh, of course hit me up on youtube's like and subscribe so i'll catch you guys on the next one